to go against typecasting and is playing a gospel singing, God loving preacher's wife in her new sing song drama. I believe in and Hollywood believes in the star power of Whitney Houston. In just four short years, Houston has changed the way Hollywood looks at the money making potential for black films, and she has become one of its most bankable actresses. I'm very careful about what I do. I don't want to be the consummate actress. I don't want to be the everything. I don't, you know. I just wanted to choose projects that I thought were substantial, that had a good cast, a supporting cast, because I'm not afraid to say that I'm not the greatest actress in the world, nor do I try to be, you know? And I don't think that Hollywood wants me for that. I think they want me for the, the singing along with the acting so that it goes hand in hand. <laughs> And sing she does in the title role of the sentimental holiday movie, The Preacher's Wife, which also stars Denzel Washington. So how was it working with the diva of life? <laughs> the diva of life. But see, this, here's the thing, and I'm going to set the story straight now, right in front of you. See, I don't get it. That's not the Whitney I know. You know, the diva of life, the big singing star. I know she's all those things. But she's the girl from around the way, like see? I know from Newark. See? That's the Whitney that I know. He's the brother from Mount Vernon. From see? around the way. We're brother and sister now, That's you right. know. This is a familiar thing. That's right. You know, and everybody thinks, you know, well, how sexy is Denzel? I was like, that hey, brother ain't sexy at <laughs> 6 in the morning. That brother comes and tell me, I'm tired. As with all Houston movies, there is a soundtrack. This record also happens to be Miss Houston's first full-length album in over six years. While there is some of the pop fare that has made Whitney a superstar, the majority of the album is made up of gospel tracks, a style that is practically second nature for the New Jersey native who sang gospel in church as a child. I did The Preacher's Wife, and I figured, well, it just required gospel. You know, you can't do a movie about God and love and peace and joy without, you know, uh, singing about God because he is all those things. I got joy! joy, joy. You got joy! joy, joy. Rapping isn't a new thing.